Hey guys, welcome to my uh, first object-oriented programming in PHP tutorial. And today I'm going to be looking at pretty much the basic concepts of object-oriented programming, as well as some uh, PHP functions, etc., that you can use for your object-oriented programming. And the first thing I'm going to be talking about is uh, classes. And pretty much what a class is, is a data structure containing methods and properties. Properties are pretty much the equivalent of variables inside a class, whereas methods are pretty much the uh, functions inside a class. And you may be asking, okay, well, how do I make a class? Well, to create a class, you just use the keyword class, then your class name. And for this tutorial, I'm going to call our class dog. Now, inside dog, we need to have some properties. Pretty much properties are the variables. Um, let's say we have a property called loudness. To, or to create that variable, we're going to have to use the keyword public. And pretty much without going into too much depth, what that allows you to do is to access this variable from outside the class. So public loudness, oh sorry, public dollar sign loudness, sorry, equals 10, semicolon. And that just sets the loudness of our dog to 10. Now, to create our function, it's pretty much exactly the same as outside of the class too. It's just public function arc, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. And pretty much uh, what Bark is going to do is we're going to have it print out some text. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to explain is how to access the properties inside your class. And to do this, you use the variable this. Uh, what this does is pretty much take all the stuff outside of your function is going to be stored inside the variable called this. So in this case, loudness is going to be stored as this, uh, then a hyphen, and a great, greater than sign. I'm not sure why it does that, but this hyphen greater than bar, or not bar, loudness. Loudness. So yeah, that's how we get the variables from uh, outside the function. Or method. So what we want to do is echo uh, echo dollar sign this loudness. And actually, I'll insert a line break there. So pretty much what this is going to do is this function is going to print out to the screen I am barking line break, and then it's going to echo out ten, or at least it should. So to do that we have to make a instance of our class. Um, this is pretty much done by making a variable called whatever you want it to be called, but in this case I'm just going to say dog equals new dog. And this takes our class and puts it into the variable dog. So then from that we can access the function bark if that thing would get out of the way. We can access the function bark by going dog bark the same way we did inside the function. So yeah, if I save this and go into Firefox, if it would load, please, thank you, and go to wherever this is stored, I think it would be tutorials slash classes, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it outputs, I am barking 10, as we expected it to. So thanks for watching, and hopefully... I'll be back next time with some more object-oriented programming tutorials. Thanks.